guys welcome back to my channel today we are using a new method in scratch that is sprite layering this actually gives an illusion of 3d in this game there is a few chicks wandering in the forest and there there is a cat hiding here it is going to catch all the chicks here all the chicks and cat can walk around the trees and rocks and we can even move the trees and rocks to do this we we need a lot of control over the layering of the sprites so i already set up the backdrop and the sprites so in the sprites i have to take these tree up and keep keep their feet in the middle of the canvas wait for all the costumes and sprites and then i'll do it for the next sprite okay now let's do the coding So first create a my block and name it order order and then add an input like this and should also run without screen reference just keep a tick here and then I'll just simply keep one here, not here. Like this. And then click on OK. And then take this block and keep it anywhere. And then make a variable. I'll just simply keep I and click on OK. Set I to one and then repeat until and then go to operators and then take this knot and this and this one and keep it here keep keep the i variable here and then make a list variable which is order and then click on ok I'll just hide the variable so now go take this one and then keep this one here and then take the one here and then keep it here and then it should change the i variable by one and then it should it should insert it should insert this one this one keep it here and then keep i here and then go to looks and then take a take a go to front layer by one and then keep it 
i minus 1 so i'll just take this i and keep it 1 and now go to the backdrops and then forever it should delete all of order and then broadcast message one and then it should go here and then when I review message it should just take the this order block and keep it here and then and then you have to take the y y position from motion take this and keep it here and now just drag it and drop it here in this in this trees and the rocks so now let me see if it works so I have to keep a green flag option here and then when I keep it here it's going back so let me just keep a draggable mode here so that we can drag the sprites even if the even if it's in this full screen mode so I'll keep this one and now let's see how it works so I can take this cat around the rock So now let's make the different trees go in different positions here. So now take a green flag option and then keep this thing in one position and then just you can just keep any one trees image. I have three trees in it, image so just keep any one tree costume here and then it should go to this position and then clone itself you can keep the the rock on trees anywhere so i'll just keep this in an, another position and then duplicate this and then remove the go to block and take another one so the position will be different now and then i'll change this to another one like this and i'll keep it here like that do it for like that you can make all, every trees come here same logic for all the positions Okay, so now go at the top and then keep a two block and then keep a hide block here so that the the cloned sprites will only be here. So let's see how it works. Okay, that's, there are lots of different kinds of trees. If you want, you can add the number of trees. I'm just keeping this much. So now I'll just choose a sprite. Just you can just 
take a chair. Check this one. I will delete the other costumes and then go to code and we'll just make it simply uh, go around this place. So, so just take select this, make it small, and also keep its legs in the middle of the canvas like this. And then go to code. And then you can just simply keep this chick at one position and then take a glide and then just keep it here. And then keep this one, another glide light block and then just do it like that okay so then keep a forever block here and a green flag option and also do one more thing go to the rock or any sprites just need to take the, this one and then keep it in the check and also take this one okay so now let's see how that chick is going okay the chick is going around the trees and everywhere so now you can duplicate this chicks before duplicating it you have to put one more thing so so keep a green flag option and then keep a forever block and then keep an if block so if it's touching the cat it should hide and don't forget to keep a show at the beginning so this program will be like if the cat touches it it's like the cat got it so now duplicate it how much ever you want you can add it how much ever you want now in in this check you just have to shuffle up the code if you didn't shuffle the code it will look like all of these five chicks are becoming into one chick so do it for all of this just shuffle it Okay, now let's see how the chicks are working. Okay, all of them are going in different positions. Okay, now one more thing. We need to make the cat move. So, go to the cat and then take a green flag option. And then, go to controls and keep a forever block and four if blocks. And now, when the when the up arrow trees rest, it should go up. So just just keep all the arrow trees. Okay. So now go to motion and then keep change y by change y by five and keep or up and then keep change y by minus 5 or down and then keep change x by 5 or right and then minus x minus 5 or left so now let's see how it works okay so I can catch all of those 
cheeks. Okay, and one more thing. Just delete these two and then keep a move block. Keep it five for both. And then for here also and then change point in direct direction 90 for right and for left keep it minus 90 okay so the cat is going upside down so so i don't want that upside down thing so to fix that i'll just take set rotation style to left and right so now it will be like this so i'll catch all the chicks Okay, I caught all the chicks and that's it.